Moment, get in there. This is insane. Good? For this episode of Beyond the Plate, it just keeps getting better. I am here picking up esteemed chef, Stephen Leslie, Tavern on the Square. Stick around, this adventure is going to be amazing. Where are we going for our food adventure? We are going to a friend's house in Eastern Townships in Hatley is the name of the town. I've always seen myself ending up in a small little town cooking at the maybe in 10 years or going there is like serene, it's quiet. I invite a few of my friends. Whenever we're together, we have the best time. We just love each other's company and we love drinking wine and we love making food, which is what I love to do, which is why I became a chef. You know? Steven. Heidi. What does it take to be a great chef. There's a lot of hard times being a chef. Most of the road is usually quite bumpy. To never give up, and I remember a few times being in, the, in my, you know, in the, in the basement, just kind of, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. I'm tired, and and so that kind of perseverance and like, okay, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Let's do this. Through that dedication and perseverance, is sourcing all the great products that you know. I mean, this we're serving food, number one thing. So sourcing the best products possible. Uh, that's, that's the first two things that come to mind. So you've been referred to time and time again as the OG, the original gangster <laughs> on the scene. How do you stay curious? How do you stay passionate? When I come into the office and there's a pile of paperwork to do for forms and taxes and payroll, it's like, well, this is not inspiring. <laughs> you know, the cooking part is the inspiring part, the fun part. When I get really down, I'll jump in the kitchen and start cooking stuff just to get myself into a better place, a better mood. The end result is we get to put it in somebody's, somebody gets to eat it, put it in their mouth, and you get to see a reaction on their face, which is, I think that's what we all live for. You want to see that, that wow, you know. <laughs> Got it. Can you tell me what you have planned? Uh, I brought some of my favorite things. Beautiful steelhead trout from Norway. Uh, my ataki mushrooms, some Quebec wagyu, yeah, top-notch stuff. You guys would be my guinea pigs kind of thing. Wonderful. Cuisine here, I mean, I'm classically trained in French. Food here is very market-driven, whatever is freshest we can get as far as fish and meat, which is the way I kind of like it, which is always fresh and light, nothing too cloying and heavy. I'm from Southern Italy, my family, so it's all about olive oil, anchovies, you know, sweet, salty. I love, I love those combinations of flavors. Do you remember that defining moment where you knew this is what I want to do for the rest of my life? <clears throat> I get emotional when I talk about this moment, so. Uh, so the defining moment, I guess, is I was a little boy and I had to learn to cook for myself because my father had passed away. And I remember um, on a weekend uh, making my mom, I believe it was eggs a la king, which I'm sure was awful. <laughs> but I remember bringing it to her and her eating it and seeing that look on her face. and. I just made the most important person in my, uh, in my world extremely happy and I thought, wow, isn't that cool? Um, but that's when I really, was the, the light went off in my head. Always wanted to make, to live to make my mom happy. Well, let's, and then maybe make other people happy through that, you know? It started, so 23 years ago, we opened up in Monklin. That was crazy back then. We were there for five years. And then we moved here. We saw the space, we loved it. What we found is that it became a real neighborhood restaurant. My business partner, Don, and I have been here since uh, 17 years, but my junior partner, John, has been here 12 years, I think. My cooks, 10 years, seven years, five years. That's really almost, it's pretty rare in the restaurant business, so. And then we have customers that have been coming since, uh, you know, I've watched their kids grow up, literally. You know, they come here on their dates when their dad's not here. It's a great place, and it's very, you know, it's homey, it's cozy, you know, and everybody's uh, happy to be here and, make your night what it should be. You give so much of yourself. It's truly authentic. And I am so grateful that you took a lot of your time out 
to give to me. We clearly went beyond the plate with this episode, and I can't thank you enough. Well, it's been my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Cheers. Cheers.